Mail call. This package comes to me from Marine Corps veteran Paul Waldrop from Plano, Texas. Paul is not just a wood turner, but he's also a gifted guitar maker. Put his website up there, make sure you check it out. But I gotta tell you, I, I'm just overwhelmed at times with the uh, items that, that you send me. But these are a couple of additions to my pen collection. I've got a lot of pens that you all have sent me. I cherish every one of them, but these Marine Corps pens, you know that they hold a special place in my heart. What a gorgeous pen. Check out his website. Paul makes some amazing guitars. These pens aren't too shabby either, brother. Thank you so much. Semper Fi. All right, well, I'm finally getting back to the wood lathe. I'm going to make six matching dice trays this week. Shallow bowls, basically, to roll dice in to keep them contained while you're playing games. The material that I'm using is black walnut, and I've got a whole bunch of these little... Uh, black walnut dimensional pieces that uh, at one time were destined to be uh, armrests on chairs. But I got my hands on them and what I'm going to do is laminate all of these together. So I use the joiner to get them nice and flat there. Next step is the glue up and then on from there. Oh, and these are going to be uh, 8 inches in diameter, approximately. Don't worry, I'm only going to show you one glue up. breath from moving that fast. Goodness. Now I could have just slapped some bowl blanks on the lathe and uh, got busy there, but I want you to see the process here. It took a few days to make these.
Now, I'm not going to show the turning of all six of these dice trays. Uh, what I am going to do is show you how I made them all the same size and stackable. You can see they're all the same shape, but the mortise that you see there is how I mount it to the uh, four jaw chuck. And that mortise is going to go away completely by the end of this. I just needed a good way to uh, hold on to the bowl so I could get the insides of it out. And since there's, there's already a hole in the middle, I just put some painter's tape on there, marked it in the middle, and uh, just gently put one point into the tape and the other point uh, I made the same mark and cut to the inside of it uh, this time instead of the outside for the bottom of the bowl, if that makes sense. I sanded from 120 up to 500 and then followed up with some Axe Abrasive Paste and Polish. And I didn't put the polish on until after I was done with uh, the follow-up sanding to remove the foot and the lazing that you'll see. But here's a look at each of the six uh, dice trays before they come off the lathe. And again, these are black walnut dice trays. Uh, the lighter color that you see in there is just the sap wood from the black walnut. And 
I was really happy with the chatoyants that uh, showed up in all of these pieces. Black walnut is just a wonderful wood for that. The marine that I'm making these for wanted uh, the eagle glove and anchor in the bottom of four of these. I'm not going to show you that so much. Uh, you might get a glimpse of it when I show the, the whole stack of these off. Uh, but I also put my logo on the bottom of each bowl. I will show you that. And the final products. Let me know what you think. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. But listen, I appreciate your time watching my videos. I just can't thank you enough. Please know that there's some scammers in the uh, comments lately replying to your comments, impersonating me with my picture. Uh, I'm not going to come up with some random prize or ask you to contact me via telegram or any nonsense like that. So, if there's not a check mark by my name, a verified YouTube check mark, then just ignore them or report them, please. Thank you. Until next time, God bless and Semper Fi.